Stock of the day. I uh, thought we'd take a look at Elder's favourite amongst analysts for, oh, I reckon a year now. Uh, so a significant protest voted its AGM yesterday relating to remuneration. 63% of shareholders voted against the company's remuneration report, which was subsequently not carried. Chief Executive Mark Allison remains in his role. Um, Elders took a drubbing. Everyone started buying in. Has it moved that much since then? Um, the the uh, um, revolt, if you like, yeah. against a remuneration report, does that reflect the angst of investors in this company? I think, in, yeah, well, I think investors should absolutely use their vote you know, I think absolutely right. And it's, this isn't the only company that has had this first strike or second no. strike of remuneration report. So I think every shareholder should, if they're unhappy with the performance of the shares, and if we go to a longer chart, which we probably will in a second, you'll see the underperformance of elders over, over that time. You know, um, I, I, think, I think it's absolutely right that they can do that. Elders, though, on the other hand, it's, you know, we're going into a dry spell or a dry season. Obviously, there's been still lots of wet weather around at the moment. That will still probably carry through. There's that, that four-year chart, or sorry, that five-year chart. You can see that underperformance it certainly has. So I think it's fantastic that shareholders use their vote to, to say to the company that they're not happy with the share price. And hence, directors shouldn't be paid potentially some of that, that big salary that they do get for that. So I think that's right. It's a tough one, Elders, at the moment. Um, I think overall it should do okay for the next year or so. I think the, the wet weather is still going to sort of stick around for a while. But we do know that drought is is coming and it's going to be a little bit tougher. So we've got a buy on Elders at Shores. Mm. I'm going to stick with our analysts down here at sort of 740. Um, I've, I've got clients in at sort of high prices at 12. So I'm hoping that it will rebound. But yeah, yeah it's, it's a bit of a tough one, especially because you've got the weather and then you've got management and mm. then you've got so many other parts. But if you overlay the cow price, uh, the, the, cow price cattle? the cattle price <laughs> on Elders, it's pretty much not a one for one correlation, but oh, is it that does. Right? Yeah, it, I it, didn't realise that. Yeah, so you basically, yeah, cattle prices moving to the upside is a precursor for elders to be moving or to the oh. downside. Because so cattle you, prices are awful at the moment, aren't they? Well, it's actually rebounded quite nicely, which right. is why elders, as uh. and, and basically it is, and, and cattle are only around about sort of 15% of elders' business as such. But what it does mean that if uh, farmers are getting a higher price for their cattle, they feel better off, hence they might go and buy some more machinery, they might do this, they might get And their farm out. goes up in value. And their value. farm goes up in value and things move. So watch the cattle price, it is a precursor to what the elders price People will do. not know that. Oh. So you're learning oh, something that, every that, day. No, no, because right? I've got a mate who's a cattle farm. Yeah. And uh, like if he talks about the rain <laughs> one more time, you know, <laughs> uh, we're, we've got this group of friends and they've all sort of semi-retired to farms, all they do is talk about the weather. Anyhow, it drives me mad. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, at Christmas, he yeah. was still whingy about the cattle price. Yeah. So I thought it must have stayed down there. But no, it's, 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 it's sort of ticked up a bit. Christmas yeah. price. Okay, Sean? Sounds like you got a pretty good insight to the elders' price, didn't you? <laughs> Without realising it. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, I've got to mention it to him next time I see him and go, oh, that's yeah, pretty don't, don't whinge about it next time yeah, he talks yeah. about it. Just it, fingers on the pulse. Yeah, exactly. Um, elders is one that we did struggle with over the last 12 months. We bought it a bit early. Um, fortunately, not at $12, but whatever way you look at it, yeah. if you lose money, it's too early. Yeah. yeah. We got out, um, which was a really good thing to do for a period of time, but of course it has bounced back. Yeah. Um, I just put it in the too hard basket around here. Um, do I think it will go up and down 30% again over the next 12 months? Yes, it probably will. So I'd call it a trading stock. I'd right. call it a neutral. Um, it's just in terms of a business with a forecastable return and earnings going forward, we've all talked about the weather already at length. You know, it's a bit of a, to a coin toss. Yeah. And I, I just find that it's a better place to have your money. But yeah. it will get too okay. far sold off again. It does tend to do that. All right. It is, it is a hard... There are lots of moving parts to it, but it's amazing after... It got marked down, what, about a year ago. So many brokers had a buy on it, yeah. and it hasn't done much anyhow since then. There's a lot of people wishing they hadn't bought it. And sorry, Adam, I wasn't yeah. trying to... No, no. We wish we hadn't bought it that, so we lost money food, on it. That food thematic that yes. everyone was talking yeah, about. Yeah, I call it the Macquarie Bank of Agriculture, which it is. It's got so many different areas, insurance and land and, you know, all yeah. of those kinds of machinery. It, it it's is like it's massive. Ag LIC, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, and so it, it does, but, you know, Insto's 
they they didn't want to get in until when when all the conditions were perfect, everything was right, right and that's when it was twelve dollars. Everything was going well, and you know, yeah, we should yeah. have listened. Okay, all right. 